plant on the high side. The reason we don't plant low is because plants have a critical spot in which they cannot accept too much water. And that spot is right at the crown of the plant. So if I take this pot off of here, I didn't need to squeeze it much because I can look in there and see it's healthy. These are healthy plants, these are young plants. It's not loaded with roots. You do not need to fondle the roots of these plants. If you're bored and you like to fondle the roots of plants, and it's gonna drive you crazy, if you can't touch the roots, fondle the roots then. But it's not necessary, it's not helping the plant. This is ripping roots apart. You're detaching them. It doesn't help the plant. We thought it did back in the day. And if a plant is so root bound that you can hardly get it out of the container, you gotta put it on its side and like step on it. Well, yeah, if you wanna rip a few of those roots, whoop de do. A plant is like an hourglass. You just can't see it. So a plant has a top, and then an hourglass comes narrow, and then it has a bottom. The bottom is the roots. That middle section is its stem, or its trunk, like that tree, and then it has the top. It's a mirrored image. It has to be a mirrored image, because the top takes care of the bottom, and the bottom takes care of the top. They have the symbiotic relationship. You cut a branch off the top, you're gonna lose some roots. You cut some roots off the bottom, or rip them open in fondling them, you're gonna lose something off the top of the plant. So we prefer you pop it out of the container and into the ground. This is the root ball, this entire mass. It's a ball of roots, right? The root ball for this plant was the same height. If I move these rice holes off the top of it, rice holes are put there to deter weeds from growing. Rice holes have no nutritional content in them. They're void. They're like using perlite, okay? This is the top of the root ball. When this plant was grown as a little seedling, this was the top of the root ball. When it went into a three and a half inch container or a four inch container, that was the top of the root ball. When it went into a one gallon container, that was the top of the root ball. When it went into a, this is, I think a true one gallon, right? It's a true one gallon, because we have the nursery one gallon, which is smaller than a one gallon, and the true one gallon, I'm not gonna get into the story as to why, but nonetheless, this will always be the top of the root ball. You never cover that up, the soil. You can put a little bit of mulch over it, just like we had the rice holes over it, but you're never going to cover it up with soil. So if anything, you're going to err on the high side of your soil. If my hand is the soil, you're going to err a little on the high side. You never want to show its shoulders. You show your shoulders because you want to be sexy, but you never show the plant shoulders because if you show its shoulders, that means you've got roots that are not getting any water because they're not in contact with soil. So you plant a little on the high side and then you'll mound up the soil to it. So what you'll see in the landscape, I'll dig the hole and I'm looking at the depth of my root ball. That's how deep the hole goes. Depends on how big the root ball is. You know how sometimes the plant tag will say, dig a hole twice as wide? Yeah. yeah. The reason it says to dig a hole twice as wide is if you dig a nice wide hole, you're loosening up the soil so that the roots can proliferate and move horizontally or laterally in the soil, right? If you do that, they can penetrate faster and whenever you turn over soil, you slow down water from draining through the soil. When you slow down water from draining through the soil, it travels through the soil slowly and the plants can take a drink. Plants are very passive. Anybody got a water bottle? They're very passive with the way that they take up water. Plant roots do not suck water out of the soil. They're not even capable of it. Water in the soil is moving four different directions. It's moving down through gravitational pull. It's moving left and right through what we call capillary action. The little pore spaces tight in the soil. When you put your finger over your straw and you drink your Coke, that's capillary action. It's got a vacuum. So it moves down, it moves left and right, it moves into the plants, and it's moving up through the soil through what we call evaporation. So plants take up a very small amount. I got my hole here. Whenever you're mixing and amending those soils, you do want to mix it and amend it. You never dig a hole, put in good soil, and stick your plant in there. You dig a hole, you mix in some of that good soil or some of Mark's wonderful compost, and then you plant it in a blend of that so that these roots that have never known clay because it's been raised in a nursery can start to get acclimated. This is my soil level. This is my soil level. My plant's up on a little mound. I'm holding and supporting the plant to make sure that it's straight up. I just do that for aesthetic reasons. I could plant it on an angle, but it doesn't look so good to me. Now I have a mound. I press down. Then I go and look and I expose the top of that root ball again. Where's the original root ball? Top of the root ball. And then I make sure that the shoulders are all covered so when I'm done, I have a little zit. It's a little mound right where the plant is. What'll happen is the weight of that root ball eventually will settle a little bit. That's why I planted it high. It'll settle to level. This is only a one gallon plant. A five gallon plant might plant a little higher because it's got more weight and it's gonna settle down. A 15 gallon I'll plant even higher 
because it's got more weight and it's going to settle down. So you always plant a little on the high side because it's really easy to bring in more soil and build it up. Once that plant sets roots, I cannot lift the plant up. When you plant level and you loosened up your hole or you over dug it and you're like, oops, better put that soil back in there, now it's in a loose environment. It's going to settle even more. When it settles down so low that the stem creates a depression right there at the crown of the plant, and water collects there, that plant will rot. 